But are clubs actually maximizing their sponsorship potential? Let's examine some of the key deals. Shockingly, Liverpool are potentially leaving millions on the table. Their current 50 million annual deal with Standard Chartered falls devastatingly short of this market valuation, reducing their true earning potential by an eye-watering percent. What does that mean? I don't understand the English now, sorry. What does it mean? With a month to go until the new Premier League season kicks off, Chelsea once again find themselves in a peculiar position, still without a main shirt sponsor. According to a recent report in The Telegraph, Chelsea are contemplating another short-term front-of-shirt sponsorship deal, as the club is hesitant to commit to a multi-year agreement while they're out of the Champions League. Interestingly, Chelsea has reportedly turned down offers from several companies, including two Middle Eastern airlines. Why? The club believes they could negotiate a far more lucrative deal, even when they again qualify for the Champions League. This strategy might lead to a repeat of last year's scenario, where Chelsea played their first six games without a sponsor before signing with Infinite Athlete for a reported 40 million per year. How much could Chelsea potentially earn from a sponsorship deal? To answer this, let's look at the annual fair market valuation assessment conducted by the sponsor for Premier League shirt sponsorships. This assessment determines the income a team or event can reasonably expect to receive for its sponsorship on the open market without any existing associated party connections. Their latest analysis, released last month, offers some intriguing insights. Even without Champions League football, Chelsea's front of shirt sponsorship is valued at an impressive 49 million, ranking fifth in the Premier League. It seems Chelsea is keen to secure a deal that reflects this valuation. However, Lucas Batchek, an expert on football commercial deals, presents a different perspective. At the moment, I don't see any company on the horizon that will be able to meet the club's demands of 50 million per year. One way out is a backup contract with Infinite Athlete or brands in the gambling or crypto industry. These Middle Eastern airlines would not be able to pay more than 20 to 30 million for next season. So what do you think? Will Chelsea secure a sponsor before their first game? Let us know in the comments. Now, let's take a broader look at shirt sponsorship across the Premier League. According to the sponsor, Liverpool boasts the most valuable front of shirt sponsorship opportunity in the league, with a valuation of 65.8 million. They explain, Liverpool's value as a sponsorship asset extends beyond on-field success and media exposure. Our research shows brands partnering with Liverpool benefit significantly from association with one of football's most successful clubs. Moreover, Liverpool is a culturally relevant football brand in terms of fan engagement, star power and action towards social causes, factors that sponsors highly value. Manchester City and Manchester United follow closely, the only other clubs valued over 60 million. At the other end of the spectrum, Bournemouth's sponsorship opportunity is valued at less than 3 million. But are clubs actually maximising their sponsorship potential? Let's examine some of the key deals. Shockingly, Liverpool are potentially leaving millions on the table. Their current 50 million annual deal with Standard Chartered falls devastatingly short of this market valuation, reducing their true earning potential by an eye-watering 26%. What does that mean? I don't understand the English now, sorry. What does it mean? On top of that, the Reds are locked into this deal until 2027, leaving them unable to capitalise on their true market value for years to come. Manchester City leads with the biggest overall deal, around 70 million with Etihad Airways, which includes stadium naming rights. Manchester United's recent deal with Snapdragon comes in second at 60 million. On field success, as in Aston Villa and Newcastle exceed revenue expectations compared to their market value. But conversely, West Ham also appear to be underperforming. Their 10 million deal with Betway falls far short of the estimated 26 million valuation. The Hammers will definitely move on from Betway, but not for financial reasons. Significant changes are on the horizon, with the Premier League agreeing to remove all betting sponsors from the front of matchday shirts by the end of the 2025-26 season. This won't affect just West Ham, but half of the Premier League currently sponsored by betting companies. The impending ban on gambling sponsors raises an important question. How will the removal of an entire industry impact the fair market value of shirt sponsorships, especially for clubs in the bottom half of the table?